Uh, welcome to the uh, June 2011 BY1 paper. Uh, we're looking at question one. Um, and uh, as is quite typical uh, for question one, we have a table here uh, that we have to fill in. Uh, the question is about uh, the features of prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. And you just need to f uh, complete the table there to state um, whether a prokaryotic or eukaryotic has uh, the features listed uh, in the left hand uh, column okay um so the uh, the first feature is uh, a mitochondria um now uh prokaryotic cells uh, don't contain any membrane bound organelles uh, a mitochondria is membrane bound uh, so actually there'll be uh, no mitochondria or they will be uh, absent uh, in the prokaryotic cells uh, but they will be present in the eukaryotic cells because the, the eukaryotic cells are the more complex uh, cells um, containing many different uh, membrane bound organelles okay uh, so all you had to put there really for the for the prokaryotic one was was absent and for the eukaryotic is uh, present okay um, a lot of the students I've spoken to about this question seem to find it confusing okay because they didn't quite know what to write in these boxes um, uh, well again that's where these videos can help um, improve your exam technique here all right so the, the answer there was straightforward uh, absent for prokaryote present for eukaryote okay uh, arrangement of uh, DNA now this really has caused problems uh, for some of the students I've spoken to um, what they've got they've got eukaryotic as DNA forms chromosomes okay um, it, they found it awkward to sort of find the answer to what the arrangement of DNA was like in uh, in the prokaryote um, well in the prokaryote of course there are two uh, two different types of um, uh, DNA and uh, you can either have the plasmid DNA which is uh, circular okay or you can have uh, uh, just uh, another strand of DNA um, in the cytoplasm as well uh, so the answer that they actually wanted there was um, circular uh, DNA now I think it's a it's a very badly worded uh, uh, statement there myself um, uh, but there you go sometimes you get these types of questions that uh, are a little bit awkward uh, to answer so what they were after there was really I suppose a little bit about the structure of the DNA uh, really um, in, in eukaryotes the DNA forms the chromosomes all right so based on that then you'd I suppose it, it's reasonable to say then that in the prokaryote uh, you have this uh, uh, circular uh, DNA okay um, the position of uh, the DNA okay in a prokaryote it's free in the cytoplasm um, so uh, in the eukaryote it would be found in uh, in the nucleus uh, composition of cell wall if present um, well in a prokaryote of course you have uh, the murin cell wall uh, the other name for murin uh, is the peptidoglycan so any one of those terms would do uh, for the uh, eukaryote um, of course if, it, if it's a plant cell it would be cellulose or if it was uh, a fungi uh, it would be chitin so they could uh, you would um, the examiner would accept either cellulose or chitin uh, there um, the size of the ribosomes then um, the ribosomes are small in the prokaryote and large in the uh, eukaryote um, and that's and that's the table complete a, a few awkward ones in there all right but um, uh, hopefully uh, f uh, full marks there okay and there's the uh, the answers typed in uh, don't think there's much need to look at the mark scheme for that uh, uh, the answers in the mark scheme are those the one are those that I've uh, typed in Okay, that's the end of question one.